Hi, everyone. This is Jack Drees with the Big Ten Game of the Week. From Ann Arbor, Michigan, it's Michigan against Illinois with 64,752 fans moving in on the scene of battle. First to take the field is Michigan, tied with Purdue for the Big Ten lead there, undefeated in conference play. 37 is Dave Tinkham, star defensive back for the Wolverines. Number 27 is quarterback Ted Topper. And here comes Illinois, defending champions whose injury riddled club has yet to win a conference game in 1952. Starting at right half for the Illini is Bud DeMoss. And playing with a brace to protect an injured back is the Illinois captain Al Broski. Illinois star fullback Bill Tate is still sidelined with injuries, forcing the Illini into a makeshift backfield. Michigan's captain Merritt Green, number 84, and safety man Al Broski, Illinois skipper, meet at midfield for the toss of the coin. Now in the minute remaining before the kickoff, here's a fine point about football described by Bob Carson. Uh-oh, what goes on there? Well, those who know football know this signal means illegal interference with a pass receiver. It's fair enough to try to intercept the ball, but the defending man must not interfere with the receiver. If he does, the pass will be ruled complete. Those who know gasoline know that the most important elements in a motor fuel are the high test fractions. One gives you quick starting. Another, fast engine warm up. Another, rapid acceleration. And still another, full power in the straightaway. In Phillips 66 gasoline, you get a blend of these valuable high test elements, controlled according to the climate and season, so that you get top performance, summer or winter. Get it at stations where you see this orange and black 66 shield. The Wolverines huddle around coach Benny Oosterban, confident they can add the Illini to their list of Big Ten victories. Across the field, coach Ray Elliott has some final words for Illinois. Illinois will kick off. Larry Stevens kicking, sends one high in the air. It's falling short. Frank Howell moves in on the ball, takes it on the 17. Runs away from his blockers. Returns it only nine yards, and it'll be first and ten for Michigan on their own 26-yard line. Michigan line is unbalanced, strong to the left. The single wing goes over to the left. Ball winds up in the hands of the wing back, Frank Howell. He's trapped behind the line, hits the ground, and he loses eight yards. Bob Lenzini came charging through there to spill him to the ground, and it's second and 18. Second down, 18 yards to go for the Wolverines on their own 18-yard line. Single wing to the right. Quick kick by Ted Kress. It's blocked by Dick Colhagen. Press goes back, recovers that ball, but he's snowed to the ground back on the two-yard line. Illinois is playing determined football here this afternoon. Putting the pressure on Michigan, but good. No score in the game as yet, but it's third down, 34 yards to go. Michigan's ball on their own two-yard line. Now they go into deep punt formation. Bill Billings back. starts the kick and it's blocked by Frank Wozniak. It goes out of bounds behind the end zone and that is a safety. Illinois goes into the lead by two points. Well, this is a surprising turn of events. Now it's a free kick. And Michigan rides the ball down the field. Ken Swinton takes it on the Illinois 35-yard line. Falling in behind his blockers. He twists his way up the field, brings it back to the 48 for a return of 13 yards. First play from scrimmage, lost two, so it's second down and 12 now for Illinois. They lead two to nothing over Michigan. They've got the ball on their own 46-yard line. And off goes to Bud DeMoss. He cracks through the left side of the line. Switching the ball now so he can bring a straight arm into play. He swings up the field for a gain of 11 yards. It's a first down. Illinois first and 10. Ball on the Michigan 43-yard line. Illinois leads two to nothing. Frank Wadziak blocking a punt that brought the Illini a safety. Tommy O'Connell back to throw a forward pass. Rex Smith the target. There goes the ball complete. 
Just on the sidelines, he's rolled out of bounds, but it's another 11-yard gain. Dave Pinkham made the tackle. Another first down for Illinois. First and 10 on the Michigan 32. Again, Tommy O'Connell takes to the air. Again, his end, Rex Smith is the target. The pass is complete. Stan Neckerbacher hauls him down from behind a gain of 25 yards, and the Illini are really rolling. This crowd is finding it hard to believe what's happening out here on the field. But it's first down and goal to go for Illinois on the Michigan seven-yard line. Tommy O'Connell slips the ball to Bud DeMoss. He's trying it wide to the right, but can't get far. Merritt Green spilled through there and nailed him for a seven-yard loss. Michigan likes this a little better. Michigan held here. And then after an exchange of punts, Illinois moved the ball down to the Michigan 26 where we picked them up again. First down and 10 for the Illini. Illinois out in front, two to nothing. Ball on the Michigan 26 yard line. Ken Miller taking the ball. Barring his way right through the middle, he runs right over Michigan defenders. Nice blocking there. Miller's heading for that goal line and he makes it. <laughs> Illinois has scored a touchdown and they move into a lead now of eight to nothing. Elry Falkenstein holding. Dick Miller will try the extra point for the Illini. The kick is good. And the first quarter came to an end. The first quarter scoreboard showed it Illinois 9, Michigan nothing. Michigan returned the kickoff to their own 18-yard line where we pick up play in the second quarter. First down, 10 yards to go for the Wolverines. Head press, back to throw. Sights his target, arches one down the field. Al Brosky goes up for that ball and intercepts for Illinois. The Illini take over on their own 47. Brasky's 27th interception in college football. He's playing today with a special brace to protect an injured back. First and 10 in their own 47. The Illini have the ball. They lead 9 to nothing. And off to Ken Miller. He powers his way deep into the secondary. Trying to get around the corner. They finally catch up with him, roll him out of bounds, but that's a 31-yard gain. Illinois first and 10 on the Michigan 22-yard line. Illinois playing inspired football here this afternoon. Underdog against Michigan, they're out in front with a roaring nine to nothing lead. Tommy O'Connell faking the pitch out, keeps the ball, tries it just outside, left tackle gains only two yards. Second down and eight. Ball now worked its way to the Michigan 20 yard line. Ken Miller, fullback, takes that ball, goes up the middle, and pulls his way for a six yard gain to make it third down and two. Ball on the Michigan 14-yard line. Bud DeMoss taking the handoff, trying it wide to the left. They're in there to nail him. Ball's down just short of a first down. Fourth down for Illinois, about one foot to go on the Michigan 12-yard line. Big power out of that backfield with injuries. Tommy O'Connell takes to the air on fourth and one foot. Pitches a quick forward pass complete to Johnny Ryan. Almost went all the way. It's a gain of 11 yards and a first down goal to go for Illinois. Ball is on the Michigan one yard line. Tommy O'Connell on the quarterback sneak. He's in there. Touchdown for Illinois. Illinois out in front, 15 to nothing. Elroy Falkenstein to hold. Dick Miller again to try the extra point. There's the kick, and it's good. The kick is good, and Illinois leads 16 to nothing over Michigan. Larry Stevens kicking off for the Illini. Roots a short kick down the field. Bob Dingman takes it 
on the Michigan 26 is able to bring it back to the 34 and it'll be first and 10 for the Wolverines on their own 34 yard line. Going out of the tee. Frank Howell fumbles that ball. Illinois recovers. Herb Borman got the ball on the bounce. And Illinois takes over first and 10 on the Michigan 37. and I have literally exploded in the face of the Wolverines here in this first half of play. Tommy O'Connell fading back. It's good protection. Rex Smith the target. Pass is complete. Good for a gain of 12 yards and an Illini first down. First and 10 now on the Michigan 25 yard line. Again, Tommy O'Connell fades back, looking for a spot to throw. Rex Smith, the target once more. Broken up, the pass is incomplete. Frank Hall was there, covering Rex Smith closely to make it second and ten now on the Michigan 25. Again, O'Connell stays with the air. This time, the other end, Johnny Ryan is the target, and that time it's complete. Took the ball to the one-yard line. Ryan looked like he thought he was in the end zone already. The ball is on the one. O'Connell sneaks through and over. It's a touchdown for Illinois. The conversion failed this time. The scoreboard read Illinois 22, Michigan nothing. Then Michigan took the kickoff to their own 43, where we have it now first down, 10 yards to go. Dick Balsheiser swinging wide around to the left. Hard as two Illinois defenders pinch him in. He gains six yards on the play. It's second down and four. Michigan's ball on their own 49-yard line. Illinois out in front by the astonishing score of 22 to nothing over the Wolverines. Wolverines undefeated until the day in Big Ten play. Walshizer with that ball once again. This time it's a four-yard gain. That's enough for a Michigan first down. First and ten. Wolverines ball on the Illinois 47-yard line. Ted Kress, star sophomore tailback with that ball. Faking as though to pass. He holds on to it, swings around end. Can't get very far. He's rolled out of bounds after a four-yard gain. Then Illinois stiffened and took over on downs. And now with play just about ended in the first half, Illinois has the ball first and ten on their own 48-yard line. Tommy O'Connell dropping back to throw. Long pass down the field. Intercepted by Lowell Perry, the Michigan safety man. Getting deep into Illinois territory. He's on the Illini 25, but that's all, brother. And that is the end of the first half. Plenty of thrills still coming in this game. And speaking of thrills, here's another way to get them. Here they come, the paratroops. Looks dangerous, doesn't it? But these men are trained to perfection. Yes, and their equipment has to be super safe. Remember those words, super safe, when you're choosing a motor oil for your car. Protect your car's engine with Phillips 66 heavy-duty premium motor oil, an oil that's super safe, an oil so good that we make this guarantee. Fill your crankcase with Phillips 66 heavy-duty premium motor oil. Try it for 10 days or up to 1,000 miles. If you aren't completely satisfied on every count, go to any Phillips 66 dealer and he will refill your car's crankcase with any other available oil you want at Phillips expense. So always remember, you'll be super safe with Phillips 66 heavy duty premium motor oil. It's guaranteed to satisfy you. It's been a startling reversal of expectations here in the first half with the injury shackled the lion eye roaring to a 22 to nothing halftime lead. Right now we pause to pay our weekly tribute. This week it's the University of Illinois. The University of Illinois' Talbot Laboratory houses the Department of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics. A testing machine here is capable of exerting a force of three million pounds. Strong enough to pull a railroad tie apart as you would break a piece of string. At the moment, a concrete cylinder four feet high and 20 inches in diameter is being readied for a test and moved into position by cables and a winch. As the 1,000-pound specimen is moved into place, the testing head 
moves down upon the cylinder. The control board records the moment the slightest pressure is being applied. Football fans will probably recognize Bob Lenzini, a Lion-Eye Gridiron star and engineering student, as he places the strain gauge on the cylinder. At the control panel, the pressure on the cylinder is steadily being increased. Around goes the dial as it records the amount of pressure being applied. Suddenly, with an ear-splitting sound, the concrete cylinder crumbles under the weight. After the test, students will now know what weight their concrete withstood and if it's suitable for the dams, bridges, and structures which they will build as our nation's civil engineers. The Electrical Engineering Building with its research laboratory and annex is another important structure on the Illini campus. Many research laboratories study problems of electronics, light, and power. It has one of the few vacuum tube research laboratories found outside the nation's commercial plants. The University of Illinois' alma mater statue by the late Laredo Taft and the Illini alumnus is a gift of the sculptor and the university alumni. This statue is a symbol of Illinois University's enviable record in teaching, service, and research. And now back to this football game as Michigan takes the field. Illinois out in front, 22 to nothing. The Illini warming up in the background. Michigan will kick off to start the second half. Russ Rascorla gets ready to do the booty. Rascorla moves forward. There goes the ball, and the second half is underway. Herb Nethery coming in to get under the ball. Misses that ball. And Michigan recovers. Merritt Green of Michigan got that football on the Illinois two-yard line. And the Wolverines get a big break at the start of the second half. Penalty had set the Wolverines back five yards on the first play. Now it's goal to go on the Illinois seven-yard line. Ted Press with that ball. Cutting inside the defensive end. He fights his way down to the two-yard line. Fumbles. It's recovered in the end zone by Tony Branoff of Michigan. And that's a touchdown. Here in the opening moments, Michigan has scored a touchdown. The extra point attempt was blocked. Illinois returned the kickoff to their own 35 where we pick them up now. First down and 10 yards to go. Ball goes to Bud Namos. He hits for the line straight ahead, is able to gain only one yard. Score now is Illinois 22, Michigan 6. And it's second down and 9 for the Illini. They're on their own 36-yard line. Tommy O'Connell throws a quick pass. Straight out to the right flat. Johnny Ryan with the ball, and he can't get away. He's thrown for a loss of three yards as Bob Dingman came in to make the tackle. So that makes it third down and 12 for Illinois on their own 33. Direct pass comes back to Ken Miller. It's a quick kick. Michigan's secondary defenders go back after that football, but Illinois is there too, and this one is not going to be run back. It rolls dead on the Michigan 25-yard line. And Michigan suffered a three-yard loss, and we pick them up now, second and 13, in their own 22. Ed Crest with that ball, swings out wide around to the left. Still on his feet, he fights his way into the Illinois secondary and goes for a gain of 15 yards, and that's a first down, first and 10. Michigan's ball on their own 37. Illinois out in front, 22 to 6. Single wing shifts over to the right. Ted Cress is back. Man in motion goes out to the right. Cress drops back to throw. Ball goes down the field. Frank Wojciak intercepts for Illinois. He's hit. Fumbles that ball. Michigan has it back. Dick Bauscheiser gets it for Michigan. A penalty moved Michigan back to the 32. Then a running play gained two yards, and now it's second down and 13. Michigan's ball on their own 34-yard line. Ted Cress with the ball back to pass. Eggs a quick one over the line. It's complete to Tony Branoff. Branoff runs past the first line eye tacklers. Gets blocking protection. And finally, when they catch up to him, he's good for a gain of 31 yards in the Michigan first down. First and 10 for the Wolverines on the Illinois 34-yard line. Quarterback Ted Topper operating out of the tee. Drops back to throw. 
Fakes the pass, then tries one out to the left flat. It's intercepted. Cliff Wall, Beezer of Illinois, gets that ball on the 28, is hit immediately, falls forward to the 30. And Illinois takes over first and 10 on their own 30-yard line. The Fighting Illini living up to their name today. Leading in this ball game, 22 to 6 over a heavily favored Michigan 11. Bud DeMoss takes that ball. Wide around to the left. He's hit, loses the football. Michigan recovers. Don Duggar gets it for the Wolverines. Michigan takes over again. Now they have it first and 10 on the Illinois 29 yard line. Single wing to the right, Ted Crest with the ball. Going to be another forward pass. Crest flips it complete to Lowell Perry. Perry is hit almost at once, it gains seven yards. Second down and three. Michigan's ball on the Illinois 22 as we pick up this play in our slow motion camera. Defensive tackle is blocked in. Crest fakes a wide end run, getting the end out of position, then cuts inside of him. Gets past the first Illinois defenders, runs through the next. Will he be trapped on the five-yard line? They've got him, but he pushed clear and goes into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. The Wolverines added the extra point, making the score 22 to 13. And now it's Russ Viscola kicking off for Michigan. He sends a low one, bouncing down the field. Pete Bacaros gathers it in on the 15-yard line, falls in behind his blockers. Sliding off to the left now with good protection. He crosses the 40, up to the 45, to the 50. Down to the 45, he stepped on the sidelines there. And Illinois has the ball first and 10 on the Michigan 45-yard line. 22 to 13, Illinois fighting right back. First and 10 for the Illini on the Michigan 45. Tommy O'Connell fading back to throw forward pass. It's a screen pass out to Pete Bacaros. Bacaros goes for 10 yards up to the 35-yard line. But then the Wolverines stiffen, and Illinois punted, kicking that ball into the end zone for the touchback. And now Michigan takes over first and 10 on their own 20-yard line. Out of the tee, Ted Topper hands to Tony Branoff. Nice hole up the middle. Branoff spins through for a gain of nine yards on that play. And Michigan continued its drive, going on into Illinois territory. Now we're ready to pick up Michigan once again as they have the ball first and 10 on the Illinois 42. Ball to the fullback, he spins, hands to Tony Branoff. Ran off with three blockers in front of him, swings wide to the left. And Illinois fights its way through that screen of blockers, drops him for a six-yard gain. Then Michigan was offside, and now it's second down and nine. Michigan's ball on the Illinois 41-yard line. Ed Toper dropping back to throw a forward pass. A quick pass is flipped to Lowell Perry, who gathers in that ball, streaks across the 30 to the 25, dancing his way finally out of bounds on the 18-yard line as the quarter ends. Michigan 13, Illinois 22. But Illinois stopped Michigan. And then after an exchange of punts, we pick up the Illini here at the fourth quarter of play as they have the ball first and 10 on their own 45-yard line. Tommy O'Connell with the ball once again. Forward pass complete to Pete Bacaros. Trips and falls, but it's a gain of five yards. Second down and five now, right on the 50-yard line. Miller taking the ball, going through the middle of the line, spinning for a gain of five yards. That's a first down for Illinois. First and ten on the Michigan 45. Again, it's Ken Miller with the ball, sliding over the right side of the line now. Not much of a hole there. He's able to gain three yards on the play. Second down and seven. Illinois has the ball. They lead 22 to 13 over Michigan. Tommy O'Connell back to throw once again. Pass goes down the field, intercepted by Laurie LeClaire. Tackled almost immediately. He turns it to the Michigan 33. 
Ray Elliott on the sidelines. Talks with guard Bob Lanzini. Michigan has taken over the ball first and ten on their own 33-yard line. Ted Topa with the ball. Hands to Tony Branoff. Michigan going out of the tee. Branoff heading wide around to the left. He's nailed there by Lawrence Stevens. A gain of six yards on the play to make it second and four. Michigan now on their own 39. Single wing is over to the right. Ted Crest the tailback. Ran off in motion out to the right. Crest with that football. Looking for a spot to throw. Can't find a target. He's going to run with the ball. He's hit and hit hard, but it's a gain of six yards and a first down for Michigan. The next play lost five yards. So now Michigan has it second and 15 on their own 40-yard line. Pullback spins, gives to Ted Crass. He's rushed, can't get that pass away yet. Still can't find a target. Got to run with it again. Nice blocking there as an alert Michigan team picks him up. And he goes for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it third down and two yards to go. Michigan's ball on the Illinois 47-yard line. Press with the ball. No passing this time. He's running. Miles his way through for a first down. A two-yard gain, and that's enough. But then Michigan fumbled. Illinois recovered, developed another drive. And as we return to the field of play, we pick up Illinois as they have moved down into Michigan territory, first and 10 on the Wolverines' 25-yard line. Illinois in front, 22 to 13 over Michigan. Tommy O'Connell straightens up, throws a quick forward pass, completes it to Lawrence Stevens. Fumble on the play. Michigan recovers. Laurie LeClaire grabs the ball for Michigan, and they have it first and 10 on the 18-yard line with only seconds left to play in the game. Press is going to throw. Tad Stanford's the target. There goes the ball. And Stanford and Larry Stevens of Illinois both go after that ball. Stevens gets it as the ball game ends. The final score, Illinois upsets Michigan 22 to 13. Yes, another in the growing list of startling upsets is added to the Big Ten season with this great Illinois victory today. Coach Ray Elliott receives congratulations from Penny Oosterbahn of Michigan. As matters turned out, the Michigan defeat today leaves Purdue all alone at the top of the Big Ten standings. And Illinois has chalked up its first Big Ten victory of the year. Everyone knows that performance is what counts on the football field. Now here's a young man to tell you how you can have it on the highway. My baby always knows that she's appreciated because I always show her lots of care. You sure do, honey. Now everything I buy her has got to have class. That's why I always ask for Phillips 66 gas. What flower? My baby's a smoothie. Ow! She's bound to go far. You mean me, don't you, honey? Heck no, I mean my car. Oh. Here's how my baby knows that she's appreciated. I fill up with Phillips. Phillips 66 gas. Phillips 66 can do plenty for you. Get up and go. Your car will go. Fill up with Phillips 66. Super fine to drive and at the Phillips sign. Get Phillips 66, heavy duty premium oil. And Phillips 66, the peppy gasoline. 